Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Sopers. I, whatever time of day it is for you, I hope that this video finds you doing well. I'm so glad that you're continuing along with us as we walk uh, through the book of Genesis. And today we're looking at Genesis chapter 12. How did God speak to you as you open his word today? What verse or verses stood out for you today? For me, it happened really quickly. Um, and mine was verse one, and it says, the Lord said to Abram, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. My oh, my observation is, prior to this calling by God, Abram was pagan in every sense of the word. If you want a background on that, look at Joshua chapter 24, I believe it's verse two, uh, give you a little insight on that. But we do not know that he was an especially good or bad man. All that matters is that God intends to accomplish his will through this particular man and his family. And so my A, my application is, Abram was given a double-sided command to go from his country, his extended family, and his father's household he was told to go to an un, go to an unnamed land which God would show him and would also bring about some staggering promises. Those promises follow uh, in chapter two and three, or not chapter, verses two and three on that. Like God's plan for Abram, I cannot stay where I am and continue to obey God. God is always calling me to the next small step of faith toward him so that I might know his staggering promises for my own life. I need to trust him in each and every step that he has called me to take. And so finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, thank you for accepting me right where I am, but for loving me too much to let me stay there. Grant me the courage and the wisdom to take each small step of faith along the path that you are leading me on on this day and all that will follow, amen. So this is my soap today. I pray that, that this video and, and hearing my soap has encouraged you a little bit as, as you're working through each of these chapters in Genesis. I wanna tell you to stick with it. Uh, once again, as I've said many times, this is self-paced. You can follow along at your own pace. And if you're a little bit behind, don't worry about it. But I also want to encourage you not to do the checklist thing, uh, that, that you skim over a chapter and uh, just so you can check it off the list that you read it. What I want you to do is be able to slow down, apply this soap Bible study method to your reading, and really hear God speak to you. That's my prayer for all of you. Once again, I'm so glad that you're able to join us today. And now would you join me as we close in prayer, this praying. Dear Heavenly Father, for the gift of this day, we give thanks. Father, we know that it is a day that you are present with us, and it is a day that you have created for us. Father, for that, we give thanks. Father, we thank you for your great love for us. Father, I also pray that for all of us, uh, myself and everyone uh, who is listening to this video, that they would be aware, we would all be aware of the small steps of faith that you so often call us to do. And Father, grant us the courage and the wisdom to follow so that we might be and move closer to you. And I pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Go, have a great day. Be blessed.